What's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to Oakfield Farms. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, we've gotten everything kind of done. Uh, we're done stealing people's barley. <laughs> Uh, but I do have a couple efficiencies to make. So, yeah, a couple of efficiencies. Let's just put it that way. We've got a couple things to work on. I want to see if we can find some other ways of making money today. But, uh, yeah, we're going to load up some pipes here. Got some work to do around the farm. Let's go open the truck up. Oh, wrong side. I love how I just managed to jump in the back there. But I've uh, got some pipes to do. We're going to do some irrigation stuff. And uh, we're going to mess around with some other things. We'll see if we can make some more money yeah, maybe some more secondary means of making money. So let's get to work, guys. Bitter batter. All right. So, like I said, we have some uh, a little bit of cleaning up to do, some work to do around the farm here. I thought this would be a good use for the the old iron, the goldener here. Let's go run over. Now, we were getting those pipes, like I said, to do some irrigation stuff. And uh, so I went out and I built. This is um, just some new areas where we can get some water to make life just a little bit easier for us. Now, my thought process on all of that was that we are getting a lot of sheep and a lot of cattle. And I don't want to have to transport water all the time back and forth. I only have this small little uh, jaw skin, this water tank. I don't want to be taking water constantly back and forth from farm. It's not like it's that far. But at the same time, it's a bit of a pain. So... What I've done? Well, we've ran over and we've put some water spouts or water troughs or water... You know what I'm looking, talking about. Uh, <laughs> some connections right beside our water troughs. Oh, come on up. Come on, let's see how close we can get here. So we can dump our water in there, but let's see if we can fill first. We've got only got half a tank. Get nice and close. I know it has to be pretty close to these... Uh, these hit points for it to connect to it. Connecting, there we go. And can I drop at the same time? I think I can. Let's get it closer. Come on. Just gotta be nice and close to it, that's all. Oh, I had it. There we go, and there we go. So we're filling and we're draining at the same time. That's perfect. Too bad this didn't have uh, that ability. I know there is a mod out there. Or it's in the mod hub, actually, but uh, you need to have the stock in game sheep pens and cattle pens for that to work. Perfect. So that is totally full. And now let's go check out our cattle, because we've done the exact same thing with them. Oh, oh, come on. This thing doesn't turn as sharp as I was expecting. Wow. All right, perfect. We'll spin this around. Get back out of this pen. I need to cut the grass in here. Holy. That's the other thing. With seasons, I can't wait. I know I've said this before, but I cannot wait for the grazing animals. That will actually clean that pen up, I think. Now, I don't know how that's going to work exactly. Uh, I have a funny feeling it'll only be in the stock in-game pens. I don't think it would work in there for some reason. But you never know. Maybe it will. Let's go run across. All the way down to the far side. And we'll go take a look at our cattle. We're going to do the same thing with them. But we'll take a look and see how that uh, water spout is looking out there. Uh, let's see here. I got our cloth sitting right there. Perfect. Now, I had someone ask me in the comments, actually, why am I using all cloths? Do I not like any other tractors? And no, guys, this is just an Oakfield farm. It felt like the cloths just fit well with this particular farm. I do, I don't know, I've used John Deere quite often in other farms. It's just the, the, the cloths seem to fit very well on this particular farm. Oh, I left this gate open too. <laughs> Let's get the, uh, the dudes out of the way here. Move him out of the way. I don't know why I had him parked over here anymore. What was I moving? I was moving manure or something around. It's just kind of over beside these bales. All right, perfect. Now, we don't really need any other th any other products right now. We've kind of... We're just looking pretty good, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we've got a decent amount of... Uh, this is grass. and I, No, this is hay. Over there is grass. So we've got a decent amount of bales. We're running a little low on straw, but it's still not too bad. Um, we've got stuff planted that should give us some straw. What do we have? We have oat planted. That's what it is. All right. So we need to... Uh, start dropping that. Now let's see if I can get this close enough that I can fill at the same time. No, not going to get close enough. There it goes. And we're filling at the same time as we're draining in. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, see, that's perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to work. So we could do both at the exact same time. 
I love it. And that's an easy way of doing it. So now I don't longer need to run back and forth at least. I mean, I didn't need to be this close, but it's a pretty good spot for it right in that corner. I'm not going to back into it there. There's no really other place. I mean, I need to have access to the, uh, the silage bunker. So that's actually probably the best spot for it. Cool. I am extremely happy with how that is turning out for us. So we'll leave this alone for now. Uh, other than that, our cattle are looking good. So I'm not really too worried. I mean, look at all the cattle we've got in there. There's a lot of steak in there, guys. Uh, I think we're over the 60 mark for cattle now. Yeah, looking pretty good. So we'll finish this off. I got something else planned. I need to make some money. Some other ways of making money. We're going to try something else. Uh, we need some chickens. We're probably going to need some chickens. I need to figure out what we're going to do with that. But that's what's coming up on this. Let's go take a look and see if we can find a way to make that work into our farm. So chickens. Chickens, eh? Um, what I'm thinking, I just want something small. I don't want to go crazy, but I've been using this little land up in this front corner of our farm here for a kind of overflow storage of equipment that I can't really fit anywhere else that's too big. Uh, yeah, I got some pretty big equipment up here. I don't really have a better spot for it yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. It could probably go down below, actually. You know what? I do have room. So I'm going to start moving some of this equipment around. We're going to get this out of the way, and uh, we'll see... What we got planned for that? No, I got a small chicken coop that I want to put up there that I'm thinking about. I don't want to go crazy. Just something very small. Um, we're going to be doing some local farming type stuff. So we'll see what we can make out of that. Now, we don't need a ton of space, but I do want this area kind of cleared up. Just to make it look pretty. Let's see. We'll grab onto the uh, lemkin here. Or the lizard. That's a lizard. That was a lemkin. Grab this. We're going to take this down below. You know what? Let's go put this down at the bottom. We have that shed that's down we usually keep our semi-truck. Uh, and we'll keep that and all this stuff down there. There should be room down there for everything, I think. All right, after a whole bunch of shuffling, I think we've got room for this Bouchard manure spreader. This thing is so massive. Bouchard? Brochard? What is the name of this one? It's not what I, I've ever used before, but it was the biggest one that we could find, and I wanted the biggest at the time. Um, I don't regret it, but it is awfully big. <laughs> it's so big. All right, perfect. So I think I've got some space for that down below. So let's see if we can squeeze through all of this. This is one of the challenges of Oakfield right here, guys. This farm is so tight to get around. You think, and you think you have all these big outbuildings that are great, but it's almost impossible to get lined up to get something this size into them. We did manage to get that big PJ trailer into one of them but I don't think I'd be able to get this one. That being said, it does have some crazy turning axles back here. You can see the way the axles are all turning. You can turn a lot sharper than you would think with this uh, this trailer. But I've got room down here. You can see I've shuffled everything kind of around. So I think we should be able to load this in here, no problem. And that'll be a good little home for it for the time being at least. I was keeping the, uh, the milk trailer down here, but I found, some, I don't know, we just leave that up by the cows now. It just seems like it makes more sense to be up there. All right. Right up against this back wall. That's as far as we can get. Like, look at that. It doesn't even fit into the, the uh, outbuilding. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, man. All right. So let's get back up top. It's chicken time. All right. So the chicken coop is built. It's actually not a bad one. This one really suits this map. Uh, let's take a quick look. So over on this side, you can see we have our feed area. Very cool. We got a little pen in there for the chickens. Uh, we'll scooch around the side here. I believe this will be our spot where the eggs will populate in our door here. You can see we can actually go inside. Oh, ah, I can't fit. I'm too fat. Get in the door. Oh, I know I can get in this. Run. Ah, there we go. And then you can go inside, kind of. Um, I don't think, you can, can I get over the fence? Can I get over? Ah, no, I can't really get over. I don't know if I want to get over. I'll be stuck inside there. <laughs> but there's nothing else in here. So that there is our little chicken coop. It's not a huge one. I think it only holds about 100 chickens. In fact, let's, uh, let's get to buying them right now. Can I buy them? Which one is it? This one here. Uh, I think we'll go with, uh, what do we want to go with? White, black, or brown? You know what? We're going to go with brown. And now the nice thing about this is we have the chicken coop mod on, so I don't need to hit the button every single time. It'll just magically, magically increase to 100. So we can hold 100 chickens in this one. That's perfect. We'll go full bore on this. It's not too much money. And we'll start getting some eggs. And really, that's what we're after is the eggs. You know what? We'll just go with, um, go with 90. And then we'll sell every 10. There we go. Boom. Okay. 
So it was only 4,500 bucks, not a big deal. We paid $1,300 in shipping, which don't get me started on that. Uh, perfect, we got our chickens. We need to feed these bad boys with uh, some wheat. I'm gonna go grab that dudes and uh, that the uh, trailer there, that tipper, and we'll just bring him some wheat. And we should be good to go, and that job is done. Now I'm pretty sure we have some wheat. Um, I think we sold all the barley last time, so we can't use barley. Uh, I hope it's wheat. I hope we have some wheat. Please, please, please have some wheat. Please have some wheat. Perfect. We've got a little bit of wheat. Not a lot, but we got a little bit. Uh, that should be enough to at least get us started on this. And now we have a reason to actually grow some wheat at some point, because beforehand we really didn't have a reason for that. Alright, so my other problem is going to be backing this thing up into our spot. Get her kind of in the right direction. Uh, nope, too much, too much, too much. Uh, that should work. And last but not least, put it to the back. There we go, perfect. Excellent. So there we go. How much are we going to use? Are we going to use it all? Oh, we're going to use it all. Wow, look at that. We used every last drop of the wheat. That's okay. So now our chickens at least should be making us some eggs. That is stage one of our plan. Stage two. Let's work, work it on that next. Now, the funny thing is, oh, look at these little mushroom stones on this map. I still have one right by the chicken coop that I couldn't get rid of. I was hoping to get rid of that one right here. It's still there. It doesn't affect us in any way, but I thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, back to stage two. All right, so the chicken coop is up and operational. Now, what I want to do, I want to show you guys this. I've got two new things on phase two going on here. Let's uh, jump into first person here so we can go through the woods. Love this part here. Oh, man. <laughs> Every single episode. Um, yeah, I've got two things going on I want to show you guys. I just can't believe that happens to me every single time. Uh, cars, cars, cars. All right. So just down at the end here, our main entrance to the farm, we have built something. I don't know exactly how I was able to build it where I built it, but I did it. Anyways, let's go take a look. I uh, should be able to see it there. You can see the roof. Right on the corner here, we've got a little shack. Look at this. Now, this isn't technically our land. I don't know how it let, allowed us to build here. Um, I own this field over here. I don't own this field over here, at least yet. So I don't know how I got this corner, but I did. Anyways, all this is, it's a sell point uh, for eggs and milk. <laughs> it looks like some few other, other goods. It's kind of the honor system in here. So, uh, you know, we're going to come down and check every once in a while, I guess. We can turn the lights on. Nice. Got our camera set up in there. You can monitor stuff, see what's going on. But uh, yeah, it's all the honor system. People can come in. They can get some goods from us. And uh, we'll make a tiny little profit. Now, to be honest, guys, I don't know how much we're going to make off these things. I have no clue. I don't even have an idea. Um, what's this say? Farm access only. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. So I don't know exactly how much money these little shacks make. If they use anything from our supplies. I mean, we now have... Uh, eggs and we had milk for the longest time so why not farm fresh eggs farm fresh milk I'm sure some people will buy it right now that's the one down at the end of the farm road we also put one that's a little bit different up inside our farm now we need to set this one up a little bit more this one's gonna be a little more elaborate let's go pull in here there we go right on the edge right across from our chickens you can see we've got it set up. Uh, now this one, it looks very similar. When you walk in, you've got, oh, we've got some grass growing through the floorboards. Where's the light? There it is. Got our camera, our light. But with this one here, look at this. When we open it up every morning, we have our little table that gets set outside. And uh, yeah, it looks great. Now this one is a bit bigger, so we have some vending machines to go in it as well. These are the vending machines right here. I need to go get the uh, the Ford and we're gonna stick them inside there. There's supposed to be a special way we're supposed to set these inside. I have no idea. I'm gonna go read up on that to see exactly how this works. But I think I can just go inside against that far wall. So let me go get the Ford and we'll see if we can unpack these inside. 
So I can't read German, but one of these is just a regular vending machine and one is a milk vending machine. I'm supposed to set the milk vending machine on the right. I believe it's this one, the skinny one. So let's go unpack that. Uh, let's see what this is going to do. Now this guy is from the mod contest, this mod. Uh, self something. I can't remember what the name of this one is now. The top man, I'll figure it out in a sec. But uh, interesting mod. This is something a little bit different, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here. There we go, up we go. Yikes, that's sketchy. Alright, we'll put this inside. We may have to hustle this around a touch once we get in there. Just to get it in the right spot. Because I think, yeah, it's not going to fit the way we want it to. Let's see if I can sneak this over and get it right where I want it to be. This little uh, lip that's here is kind of in my way, but that's alright. All right, that's better. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's see how deep we can get this thing in there. I think that's about as far as I'm able to go, isn't it? Look at that. Look how far I got that in. Wow. All right, now if I can get this to stay there, that's going to be the next problem. Nice. All right, perfect. Now, I think to unpack this, we may need to leave it connected. Let's go take a look and see if we can unpack this thing. No, that's not going to unpack it. Oh! And I'm going to throw him back into the tractor. <laughs> Alright, so unwrapping this device ended up being the bigger pain. It has to kind of be on the forks for it to be actuated that you can unwrap it. It's not exactly easy. Ah, I'm stuck Get inside the tractor. I can just push that. Oh, yeah, fall over. That's fine. We'll fix Let's See if I can fix this with the forks. <laughs> I'm going to break my, my new milk machine before I even had a chance to use it. Come on. No, you're not going to work for me, are you? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to push that back up. I'll have to go back in there and just push it myself. That's unfortunate. All right, so we'll push that up right now. Let's go grab that. Let's see if we can get this into place. So they said they want this on the right, I think it said. And then, ugh, why can't I get in that door? Give it a push. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to be on the roof on the floor. There we go. <laughs> Just get throw it around. Okay, they want it right up against that, I think. That would make sense, because there's like a milk container right there. Why are you giving me so much grief? Get up against the wall. Perfect. And I think the other one goes up against like the potato bags. Get here. <laughs> Such a potatoes. What is with the noises there? Did you guys hear that? Let me back in. What is that all about? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go grab the next one and we'll do the same thing with it. Uh, hopefully it works a bit better. All right. Let's see. Grab onto that. Grab into this. Nope. Come on. Come on. Uh, really? You're going to be like that, are you? Wow. I'll just push it up against my chicken coop and pick it up that way. That's fine then. Be that way. Alright. So let's go drop this down in front and uh, unpack it the same way we did the last one. This one is probably going to give us the same amount of grief, so I'm just going to get it lined up and then unpack it the way it is, because it doesn't seem like it has to. It has to be on the fork still, in order for you to be allowed to unpack it. It seems like. All right, so from there, let's see if this will work. Now, we go in here. No, it's not going to unpack. Let's take a look and see if our menu shows anything. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! I saw it. There we go. Unpacked. So you see, it still has to be on the forks, it seems like. I don't know. I, I couldn't get it to unpack when it was not on the forks. I'll we'll just kind of shove this in, hopefully beside. And that was a huge pain in the keister, but it's in there. Uh, let's see. Once again, let's see if I can just shove this. Nice and easy. Nope. Don't fall over. Get right back into that corner. Come on, nice and slow. Let's try not to throw everything around inside here because everything will just explode in my face. Why are you twisting? I told you to stay over here. Okay. 
And what is... There's just a huge point beside it that I can't get past. Um, yeah, close enough, I suppose. <laughs> All right, there we go. They're in. Awesome. All right, so we've got it set up. Let's go get rid of the tractor. I have no idea how much we're going to make off these, if anything, to be honest with you guys. We've got eggs, we've got milk, we've got a bunch of other kind of strange products. Why can't I get in this door? Oh, don't close. I can't walk through this door for some reason. There we go. I force my way in, I can. But we got a bunch of products at this one. we got the one down below, so we can kind of direct people to come up here if we want. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We'll see how this all turns out. Very cool. Anyways, guys, I'm putting this all stuff away. I hope you did enjoy this quick episode. See if we can find some more ways of making money on Oldfield. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy it, drop a like for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.